In our video today, we're going to go through how to create multiple components on the same page. We eventually will take these components and make an assembly on them. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I do is I'm going to start just a new design and I will go ahead and save this. For the title, I'll put my last name and then I'll name it assembly and underscore one. In my case, this is going to have to be a two because I've already created it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go up here to assemble and we'll say new component. For this one, I'm just going to type in axle and I'll hit OK. Now I'll go up here to sketch and click a plane. I'm going to click a circle and just draw the, the axle itself. So I'm going to make that 0.5 and then I'll press the E key. Now I've got four parts that I'm going to draw on top of this. So I want to make an inch for each one of those because eventually they're going to, this will go through all of them. So I'll make this four inches. Now we'll go back up here. I want to go ahead and activate the whole assembly. That's a big step right there. See I went back up here. I can just activate one component at a time too by clicking on it and hitting the little radio button. But I want to go ahead and activate the whole assembly. Then I'll come back up to assemble and say new component. The next one I'll do, I'll do with the pentagon. I'll just call it a pentagon. Now I can go to sketch. Click any plane. It doesn't really matter which one. I always start with the hole first. So that'll be 0.5. Then I'll go up here to create and I'm going to go to polygon. And I used inscribed polygon. So I click that and then I click right there in the center. And for this one it really doesn't matter the size. I'll, I'll go ahead and make it an inch and then I'll tab over. And right now that makes six sides. If I put a five in there it'll make a pentagon. I'll extrude that, clicking that outside, right? And then I'll kind of drag it. I want that to be an inch thick. All right, so that's done. Now we'll go ahead and back up here and activate the whole assembly. Then I'll go back to assemble and say new component. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just create a triangle. Hit OK. Now I'll go up here to new sketch and just click a plane. This one will be fine. I'll start with the hole itself and that needs to be 0.5 because that's the diameter I made the circle, right? I'll go back to polygon and choose inscribed again. I'm going to start there in the center point. Um, I'll make this one an inch as well, but then I'll tab over it and press the 3. That gives me three sides. Then I'll hit the E key for extrude. Drag it out to one inch. Now I'll go back up to the top and activate the whole thing. Go to assemble and say new component. This time I'll make the rectangle block. So I'll just start a new sketch anywhere. Start for me, I always start with the hole and say 0.5. And then for this one, I'm going to use a different rectangle tool. I'm going to go to rectangle and I'm going to choose center rectangle. We've been used to this two point rectangle, but we'll use center this time. I'll click there. And just kind of drag it out. Let's make that be one and let's make this be two. The length be two. Extrude by pressing the E key. And I'll just make that an inch as well. Go ahead and activate the entire assembly. And I've got one more component. I'll say assemble and say new component. This one I'm going to call the arc block. And same process, so click sketch and then click a plane. I will go ahead and start with a rectangle this time. I want to do this one a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and make 2.5 tall and I'll make it 3 wide. So now I'm going to use and put the hole in, so I'll click the circle. Kind of mark that midpoint, right? Let's see, we'll put that circle right there, make it 0.5. Now I'm going to do the arc part down here. Let me show you how this works. I'll go to create, and I'll go to where it says arc. I'm going to use a center point arc this time, so I'll click it in. I come down here and just find that midpoint and click, and I just kind of drag it out. I'll say, let's one inch, that's fine. So I'll click again, and then I'll move the mouse. And I'll click again where I want it to finish. 
then I'll extrude. I'll say that, and let's move it up. That should be one inch as well. And we're not quite done with that. We want to put some chamfers on the edges of that. Here's a fillet, and we've actually used that a little bit. But I'm going to modify and say chamfer. I'm going to click this. Well, I might have to rotate it here. I'm going to click this corner. And I'm also going to click this corner. Now let's just see. For the value, I'm going to try type a 0.5. That looks pretty good. And we'll hit OK. So now let's go ahead and hit the Fit button. And that will kind of put it all on the screen. I will go ahead and activate the entire assembly. Then I can rotate that. Now what we're setting up for eventually is we're going to put all of these things together. All right. So we'll go ahead and save it and hit OK and we will come back to this video another time. But before we do, before we just leave, I want you to go ahead down here at the bottom and hit the play button and it will give you kind of a, a brief little run over of everything that you've done. Any order you did it in.